Number 24. Sine of x times the tangent of pi over 2 minus x equals what? And it looks like just wants us to simplify this into something easier. Uh, or something just more simplified, I guess. Right? So you're going to have to know some trigonometry to solve this question. So sine of x, there's not much you can do with that. But if you look at this tangent of pi over 2 minus x, this is probably a lesser known trig identity, but you can still use one. Um, there's a list of identities called uh, co-function identities, which is basically just what happens whenever you do a transformation inside of here, inside of the parentheses. And this one happens to be 1 over the tangent of x. So there's actually a lot of simplifications we can do now. Um, so we know tangent of x. This, this is another identity, actually. It's almost... It's almost a definition of tangent, actually. Uh, tangent of x equals the sine of x divided by the cosine of x. And so here we're multiplying by the reciprocal. So I can just say, instead of multiplying by sine over cosine, I multiply by cosine over sine. When I do that, sine of x cancels, and you're just left with cosine of x. And that's answer choice A. Um, for all of you that have an inspire, this may annoy some of you that don't have an inspire, but maybe it's a benefit of having one. Um, the, a lot of times you can just type this kind of stuff into your calculator and it'll just simplify it for you. It's actually really nice. So make sure in radians first of all because we have that pi over 2 in there. So we have sine of x times the tangent of uh, pi over 2 minus x. Is that what it was or was it x minus pi over 2? No, it was pi over 2 minus x. I just click enter you see it simplifies it to cosine of x. So that's pretty nice. Uh, it's, it's, a pretty good, it's a pretty good backup for if you forget your trig identities. Um, but let me stress that you don't want to just do this instead of memorizing trig identities, because especially on later tests, um, the test writer likes to create questions that you can't just use your calculator for. And I can't think of an example right now, but just make sure that you're not using this as a substitute for learning your trig identities. So either way, you get cosine of x. And that's answer choice A. All right, so if you have any questions from other tests, make sure to leave a comment, and I'll make a video with a solution. With that said, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.